you turn your attention to the International Junior Holstein Show ring, Judge Sloan has completed her placings in our Melkin Yearling class. Placing third in the class and also winning the Best Daughter Award is entry number 188, Seamers G Sun High Dream, exhibited by Crystal Jordan, Jake, Josh, Connor, and Lauren Seamers of Newton, Wisconsin. Placing second in the class is entry number 185, Savage Lee Golden Girl, exhibited by Austin Yoder of Montezuma, Georgia. And winning the class is entry number 189, RJR Sid 3273, exhibited by Connor Erbson of Lanark, Illinois. Congratulations. Judge Sloan? Well, what a beautiful class of young cows here to start the milking cow classes. And we feel we have a handy winner at the top of the class, a cow that really puts together a great udder with an exceptional frame. Um, and, and this cow in first, she uses her advantage in her udder to place over the cow in second, just having more balance to the four quarters on this cow to take her over that second place cow. And one that has more frame overall, being deeper in her fore rib, showing more width to her chest and just having a bit more height at her at her shoulder than the cow in second. The second cow, an extreme dairy quality cow, one that we really appreciate the balance to her frame, but it's her advantage in her feet and legs that carries her over the cow in third, just standing so much more comfortably on her pastern with more depth to her heel and strength to that pastern and having less set to her hock overall. Additionally, a cow that's just a bit more youthful up through her front end than our cow that follows in third. The third cow, the cow we did make the best udder in the class, an exceptional udder on this cow, one that we'd just like to see her having a bit more easy on her feet and legs to get her any higher in the class today. But it is that advantage in her udder that carries her over the cow in fourth, having so much more definition to her udder cleft, causing her to have a more centrally located teat placement to carry her over the cow here in fourth. Additionally, that third cow just has more height and width at the top of that rear udder to carry her over a really nice side profile cow here in fourth place. Fourth over fifth, it's on the youthfulness to her udder. She just wears that udder higher above her hock. She also has a bit more ease on her feet and legs with a bit more comfort on her feet to carry her over this cow in fifth. And then fifth over six, the cow that just shows us so much more strength to her front end. She's got more width to that chest, more depth to her fore rib, and more bloom and width to her rear udder than a really youthful cow here that follows out in sixth. Congratulations. <laughs> 